here we are outside of all courts of justice on the 9th of October. It's been a, quite an epic journey really and I'm quite surprised, I have to pinch myself a little bit that we're here. I mean it's, it's quite easy to actually say you're going to start and mount a legal challenge. Uh, but to actually get to the High Court is quite something. Um, it's very stressful at times. Uh, and actually, it's not easy for me as a family man, maybe in North Croyd, to be able to actually um, do this. It's been really amazing how the community behind us have been supporting our campaign to help contribute to the funds to be able to take site council to judicial review. For people who don't um, understand the process and what, what it takes, just to describe a little bit more about kind of what you've got been through to get to this stage, not just yourself, but the, but the campaign as well. Right, so when you when you file a claim for judicial review, you have a, a period of time when the judge has to deliberate, a judge, high court judge has to deliberate whether to grant permission for it. In the meantime, you're actually raising funds. Um, and then, you know, our solicitors are over there and they've been constantly in heavy discussion, let's say, and quite heated discussion and communication with the other side about what they want divulged and what they don't as well. Uh, I'm in daily communication with our solicitors and the barrister about, you know, latest developments and in, in communication with fellow campaigners, key campaigners, Dave Petter and Paul Pickering about what to do next. It's, you know, and as I said, on Tuesday, Tuesday morning, there was a serious risk because costs were rising because what's been happening is the other side, Sun Council and Virador have been using two QCs and there's no there's no restriction on how much money they're actually of taxpayers money they want to spend on this. So it's, it's really weird because what's happened is that you make a complaint against the council because they've done something wrong and the council uses your money to be able to defeat you. So it's and not been easy but we're, we're here and I'm just so grateful we managed to do it. And just finally, if you can sum up why, why it is you're doing what you're doing? Why, why is it that you've campaigned so strongly against the internet? There's, I guess, three principal reasons, really. First of all, the health issue, and really what's happened here is that um, at all parties, their side and our side, say that it will increase air pollution, and we don't go a week that goes by without a new report telling us that actually air quality in London is practically worse than Western Europe. Um, the environment side, obviously, is that as well as, you know, we'd be burning recyclables. Um, the area which they're going to put the incinerator in is a nature reserve, an urban nature reserve, which will open as a London's nearest country park in 2023. So that's another thing. And actually the cost of the actual um, the incinerator, you know, it's a billion pound contract. And there are actually definitely better ways to be able to manage waste, which is going to be bringing even more savings for our council as well. Good luck today, and thanks very much for saying.